Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Sandusky, Ohio, often known as the roller coaster capital of the world, as it is the home of Cedar Point. However, here in Sandusky, they celebrate other amusement park rides as well, and that is why we are in front of the Merry-Go-Round Museum here in downtown Sandusky, Ohio. You can see the outside of the building actually shaped like a merry-go-round. So very interested in uh, checking out the merry-go-round museum. I visited the Carousel uh, Museum outside of Buffalo, New York a few months ago. It was very fascinating, the whole history and artistry that goes into making carousels or merry-go-rounds. And I've kind of been trying to pay closer attention to the different carousels and merry-go-rounds that I see as I travel to different amusement parks around the country. Now, there is one, one thing that was interesting to me is that the, the museum in New York is called the Carousel Museum. This is called the Merry-go-round museum. And that's one thing I've come across, trying to decipher what is the difference between a merry-go-round and a carousel. And I've got, as doing research and listening to your comments, I've gotten a lot of different answers. Uh, some people say that one turns clockwise, one turns clockwise, the other turns counterclockwise. I've heard some say a carousel has horses while a merry-go-round has other animals. I've heard that some say that a carousel, the horses go up and down, and a merry-go-round, the animals are stationary when you turn in a circle. I've even heard that carousel is a more general term, like a carousel, like a baggage carousel. It's something that, that mechanically goes in a circle, while a merry-go-round is a more specific name for using a carousel for amusement purposes. But um, maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll learn more about the distinction inside. Maybe not, maybe we won't learn that distinction, but I'm very interested to see uh, what they have here inside the Merry-Go-Round Museum here in Sandusky, Ohio. So please, follow me. As we look at the patriotic banner here in front of the Merry-Go-Round Museum, and I do love the exterior of the building. I love that it is literally shaped like a merry-go-round, almost like a stone merry-go-round. It does say United States Post Office up there, so it looks like it was a post office before it was a merry-go-round museum. So I guess they, 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 got, they, they, they got really lucky when they were looking for a merry-go-round museum when uh, they found the post office here that was already shaped like a merry-go-round. It says up there, the Merry-Go-Round Merry Museum was established in 1990. So yeah, I'm really excited. Let's check, it, check this out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's a Merry-Go-Round inside. Purchased our ticket here at the ticket booth. It's $6 for adults, $4 for children. And that includes a ride on a real merry-go-round. We have a uh, wooden nickel here that grants us one ride on carousel. You can see up above the carousel shape of the building, which of course makes it the perfect place to house a carousel. It's a carousel through uh, that entranceway there. And over here we see a wonderful menagerie of merry-go-round animals I have the zebras here now i heard i heard uh at the other care the other carousel museum and i don't want to just keep comparing the two but um they said a lot of the zebras the carousel companies would make with no saddle because zebras were considered a wild unpredictable animal but these ones these ones have saddles these are saddled zebras here Who's that sitting up there in the folding chair? Is that uh, Ponce de Leon? Always a fan of the pig. You have these 
pigs with the, the tusks there you'll find on carousels. Got this smiling, uh, smiling donkey there. So this is a jumping donkey. I think that must just refer to the fact that it does go uh, up and down. The ostrich back there. A couple of giraffes here. It says these are standing giraffes. So I guess the difference between animals is standing animals don't move, jumping animals go up and down. Appears to be a fair amount of camels. I don't know if I would ever want to ride a camel. I have uh, had a traumatic experience being bitten by a camel. Although this camel here, he looks pretty he looks pretty friendly. Yeah, I'm always a fan of the more unusual carousel animals, like the giant chicken there. Again, big fan of the pig, but I uh, really like this elephant back here. It looks like it, it does not, not a traditional saddle on it either. It has like a basket that you can uh, sit on top of. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. I have not, not seen a carousel animal quite like that. Also really like this greyhound here, this massive, massive dog. I don't think I've seen the greyhound before. Sure, I'm trying to think if I've seen a, like where you can ride a dog before. Maybe not, maybe this is the first uh, carousel dog that I've seen. See the stamp window here where this used to actually be a post office. And then we have a little mural here of the town of Sandusky, Ohio. This is where we are right now, the Merry-Go-Round Museum. For some reason, they only put the very edge of the museum here in the mural. See if there's anything else here we want to check out while in uh, Sandusky. And there's, uh, of course, Cedar Point there on the island. All those roller coasters shooting up into the air. Oh, looks like they're running the carousel here. Music there from the Oregon. Oh, this one gets gets a fair amount of speed on it. Oh, yeah, look at look at that go. Here is uh, some carousel history and definitely some things on here that I did not personally know. You can see they had uh, carousels in medieval Europe that actually travel around in a circle and they would uh, catch the brass rings with swords so that's kind of the origin of the brass ring you know some carousels you try to grab the brass ring with your finger as you go around and originally they did it with swords as like a competition you can see here the basic principle of the carousels that you know it's just a wheel that goes around and the early carousels they didn't have the uh, mechanics to it. You just uh, had someone that would just push you in a circle. It says the golden age of the carousel was 1895 to 1928. It says over 3,000 carousels were made during that time and uh, only a few hundred survive from that era. This is pretty cool here, this uh, big white wolf like the uh, vicious and ferocious <laughs> carousel animals. And over here we have a miniature carousel that is coin operated. See like that stained glass animals. So we can, it says deposit two quarters. First one, wait for the beep. Second one, after beep carousel will start. So, okay, I heard the beep. That was the Mario beep. <laughs> I'll put in our second quarter. There we go. And there, look at the, look at the little carousel go around there. You can see the outside animals are static. The inside animals go up and down. horse this is not 
one that would be used in an actual carousel. This is actually a barber chair for children. You can see how it's laid out like a barber chair, but it was actually created by a carousel company. I guess, you know, back in the day they would sometimes do that. They'd have the fun of barber chairs to help convince kids to get a haircut. You know, a lot of kids didn't like getting their hair cut. I hated it. I hated getting my hair cut when I was a kid, having someone like have scissors by my ears and, and pull at my hair. Here's the uh, painting of the museum there with the large merry-go-round horse out in front. Okay, for some reason I love this one. We got the giant cow with uh, with horns sticking its tongue out there and it's even got uh, even got udders although shouldn't a cow not have udders and horns I thought uh, cows did not have horns that would be a bull or a or a steer leave a comment in the comment section if you know <laughs> the difference between uh, a cow a steer do cows do cows have horns see if you can answer that question for me <laughs> Here we got a penny smasher for the merry-go-round museum. This is an old school penny smasher here. You have to provide your own penny. Some of the new ones, they have the penny inside already. This one, you have to put your penny there and then two quarters. There we go. And then we just pick which, uh, which merry-go-round animal we want get either the frog, the horse, or the ostrich. I, I'm gonna go with the frog. I'm always a fan of the frog. You can see the penny dangling right there. There it goes. There we have it, our little carousel frog penny. I will do my best to get this penny back to my house. Unfortunately, my uh, my success rate with getting the smash pennies back home is not good. I think I get about uh, it's about 75% chance I will lose this before I get home, but I'll, I, I, will, I will try, I promise you that. So let's take a look at this carousel here, the big showcase carousel they have in the middle of the museum. Some information, it says this was built by the Allen Herschel Company in North Tonawanda, New York. So. That is actually, uh, the other carousel museum I've been talking about is actually in the factory. So it was built at the other uh, carousel museum in New York. That's kind of that's fun. And it said this was purchased in 1991 with no original figures. The animals on the carousel are historic animals. Oh, so that's really cool. So they, they, they bought the, like the, the ride itself from the Herschel Carousel Company. But then these are all different antique animals from different carousels. So kind of a, uh, not a retirement home because they're still working, but kind of a, uh, a collection of uh, carousel animals from across the country gathered here at the Merry-Go-Round Museum. And okay, I mentioned this earlier about the zebras, but look at that. See, I said that, uh, that uh, the Herschel Carousel Company didn't believe in putting saddles on the zebras because zebras were wild, wild animals. It did say that sometimes the amusement parks would add saddles to them later. But if you look, all these horses, all these animals have saddles on them. Every single animal has a saddle except the zebra because, you know, zebras are wild animals. Why would they wear a saddle? Now, in my videos and riding different carousels, I've been wondering allowed about uh, what type of animal this is. You see them on a lot of different carousels. I thought it might have been the Kelpie, which is like an evil horse from uh, from folklore, but it is not. It is a, an animal called a hippocampus, a mythological creature called a hippocampus that is the front end of a horse and the back end of a aquatic animal. And sometimes they're called seahorses, but that's confusing because there is a uh, another animal, not of mythology, called a seahorse. So, a hippocampus there. Very patriotic uh, chariot there with Uncle Sam and a bald eagle. Different styles of carousel horses. I didn't know this. This is considered uh, Coney Island style. 
It's a, uh, a horse with, with a gold mane, but a normal body color. And uh, this is a county fair style horse. They're smaller and have less decoration to make them easier, easier to travel with. It's part of like a traveling carnival. And I can spot the, uh, the hopping frog back there. And something I have noticed uh, riding all these carousels is sometimes these saddles just have the weirdest things on it. You look at that back of that saddle, there's like a little weird face with like vampire fangs on the back of the saddle. Let's see a dog back there. I, I like the idea of riding a dog. I think I, I, I have this theory, like as, a, as, a, as children, I think we all wanted to ride our dogs. Like, it's the idea of like, you know, our best friend, the dog, being able to hop on their back and have them take us on adventures. <laughs> See the ostrich there, that's kind of a, a fun animal to ride. And then another thing, carousels, uh, they contain a surprising amount of nudity. <laughs> oh, and look at that teeny tiny bunny over there in the back. See a diagram of how a carousel is built there. Now, one of the most fascinating things that I, I realized is this part of the carousel down here, the, the ground, that is elevated. There is nothing, if you look under there, there's nothing under there. There's no wheels or anything that does not touch the ground. This whole thing is hanging down. So the whole circle out, or circular outside floor is hanging from the top and then it just moves in the middle, moving this floor in a circle. Very vibrantly colored bird there. Almost looks like a combination of an ostrich and a peacock. But I, uh, I really love this. I've never had the opportunity to ride a centaur. I think I, I, I think there to be more centaur uh, centaurs on on carousels. I'd love the opportunity to ride a uh, ride a half man half horse. Look at this horse here. Guests are actually encouraged to write their names on the horse. You can see all the different signatures there. I guess we're gonna have to put our, put our mark here on, uh, on the horse. All right, see if we can find an open spot here. We don't wanna cover up anyone, uh, anyone else's signature. But the carpet bagger. And I'll draw a little, little possum there. And there we go. We're in front of the carousel. They have these etching stations. You have the carousel horse head there. Take some of this paper and put it over there and make an etching of the carousel horse. Take one of these worn down crayons. And then as you rub it over here, you can, oh yeah, you can see the, the horse take shape. I remember uh, when I was younger, people used to do this with uh, gravestones in a cemetery, but I know they, I think they have pretty much put an end to that practice because they found out that over time that does wear down the carvings on a, uh, on a tombstone. Yeah, there's the, the horse coming through. Over here we have sides of some chariots there. You know, the design of the chariots can be just as interesting as the design of the animals. Up there we got some of the panels they put at the top of the carousel with different uh, pieces of art on it. Just catch the brass ring and get a free ride. And that's uh, one of the, the features of carousels you don't see very much anymore. Um, they actually have eliminated it because of safety reasons. You could still, there's still a few parks that have the brass ring and um, one of those is Knobles in uh, Pennsylvania and the Santa Cruz boardwalk out in California you actually see the arm here that uh, would, would uh, lean out and they would have the rings in there 
Now normally you grab the rings and they're just uh, like silver colored rings, like metal rings. But uh, every once in a while, uh, mixed in there, there is the brass ring. And if you grab the brass ring, you get a free ride. You can ride a second time on the carousel. This is authentic brass ring arm there. Again, they, they don't have them as much because you have this arm out here. And I feel like like you reach for the ring and like you could like hurt your arm or catch your arm on there or get you know twist your finger or something. So unfortunately, you know, in today's day, that everything has to be nice and safe, which is which is good in some ways. But I do wish uh, I do love the brass ring. I think it does add something very special to the carousel. Of course, the authentic arm there, and then we have the brass ring operator platform and chair so it would be someone's job just to uh, keep track of the brass ring uh brass ring and the brass ring arm on the carousel do not believe i've seen this before either this uh, carousel horse would have light bulbs inside of it to illuminate the uh the jewels you can see it's actually glowing there that's pretty fun you can watch and or ride for five tickets. Wait a minute, they charge you five tickets just to watch? Well, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I thought watching was generally free, but anyways, back here, the little corner has a uh, homage to Euclid Beach Park in Cleveland. I'm not, not familiar with, uh, with this amusement park here. So if anyone knows about uh, Euclid Beach Park, leave a comment in the comment section. Little souvenirs from Euclid Beach Park down there, including this uh, skull salt and pepper shaker. It says this horse head was used as a salesman sample. So uh, it says this is the only one known to exist. So I guess they would have this uh, travel around with this horse head, show people uh, what they could do as far as uh, carving the intricate detail of these carousel horses. It's a real craftsmanship there, of course. Of course, we saw all the variety of different animals that can be on a carousel, but of course, the uh, most prominent figure, always the horse. See the different horses here, different styles and poses of horses. This one here, <laughs> he's, he's exhausted. He has his tongue hanging out. It's a very bright pink horse there with a very uh very explosive pose there now this here this is a rocking horse but actually built by a uh, by the philadelphia toboggan company which made carousels yeah i also love these armored these armored horses always uh pretty cool it's another armored horse let's find the Interesting details there on the saddle. This one has a angel with a flaming sword right on the saddle. This saddle here, it's a snake coiled around it. This saddle here almost looks like bat wings. See the dragon there on the shield. reason this horse has a uh, a dead dog as a saddle now look how look how ornate this one is seems like it would be like if it was a real horse and like that would be like ridiculously heavy for the horse to try to uh, to manage with this is the butterfly lady says that it's a reproduction of what was on the Cedar Point carousel you have flashing different colors. Sign up there for Idlewild Park. I've actually been there. It's a nice little park in uh, Pennsylvania. This painting here is a proposal for an amusement park that never was. This was called Toy Town. It was supposed to be built in Iowa, but the uh, Great Depression came along and stopped it from ever being built, which is really sad because this looks like an absolutely amazing park. So you enter there, you the giant toy soldiers. There's a train that runs around the park. There's a big hill the train goes over that people can uh, can walk underneath. What's this? It's like a, like a, like a fairy town, like a fairyland type t 
town there. Got a ha I like this haunted forest. That looks super fun. So we got Gulliver from Gulliver's Travel tied down here. Yeah, this theme park has everything. This looks amazing. I wish this would have been built. And I wish it was still around. That's a lot of wishing though. We have a Santa Claus's workshop there. We have an actual uh, carving shop here. It says that some days there actually are uh, carvers here that will carve carousels by hand. So it looks like they're working on a big rabbit back there. Like the Easter bunny back there in the shop. They kind of show how the carving process takes place. See so they put together the solid wood frame of the horse and uh, sketch out what the horse looks like on the outside. See the carving tools resting on top. Here you can see the carving taking shape there. They carve out the head to form the solid uh, carousel horse head there. You see the floating hands of the carver working there. You got the body traced out as well to uh, to carve that later. Here they got the first coat of paint on uh, on the horse there as the floating hands of the carver continue to uh, carve away and create the horse out of the block of wood. We have a collection of carousel deer. It's different deer here. Got six tiny reindeer, missing uh, missing two more plus Rudolph. It's like every individual piece of the carousel is its own piece of art. The the organ, the horses, it's just uh, all comes together. You can see some of the pieces without paint, kind of the wooden uh, core of the carousel horse. That one there's got like a real horsehair tail. So that's actually would use real horsehair to make uh, the tails. The big wooden lion there. You can see these faded horses here. I kind of like when you go to a old amusement park and the carousel horses show wear and deterioration to some degree. You know, not completely neglected, but kind of show off their age, leaves the, the stories to be seen of all the people that rode them over the years. You can see this horse here kind of demonstrates the different stages of wear and painting. You see the worn out back end here. It's all cracked and chipping because they get all the paint off back to its wooden core that first layer of paint on and a nice shiny final coat. All right, getting ready to hop aboard the carousel. Got our uh, wooden nickel ready here. All right, Let's drop our wooden nickel in the box there. And then we gotta find us an animal to ride. And you know what? I think, I was wondering about maybe the zebra, but I think I really do love the uh, hippocampus here. So let's go for a ride on a hippocampus. The smaller animals here have the uh, 60 pound weight limits there posted right on the pole. So that's like a little baby hippocampus. And we got some uh, older hippocampuses here, but uh, we're gonna hop aboard this one here on the outside. Oh, here we go. Off to the races. There we go, that classic music. Goodness. 
showing his vicious, snarling teeth and tongue. Woohoo! <laughs> they catching up to me back there? What's that? What kind of animals we got back there on uh, on my tail? See the museum in fast motion as we travel around. That'll do, hippocampus. That'll do. I must say, this rabbit back here is easily the smallest carousel animal I have ever seen. There's a, of course, a weight limit on that. I couldn't have rode the rabbit, but yeah, that would have, uh, would have been fun. Get a closer look at some of these animals here. The dog's collar says his name is Eddie. Eddie the dog. See the pig there has a, has a curly, curly tail. Now, I spotted this earlier. I still haven't figured out what's going on here. And uh, he's a little strange little creature poking out from under the um, saddle. Actually, call me crazy, but is that, is that possibly, is that, is this, is that a billikin? I think it might be. Leave a comment in the comment section. Do you think that's a billikin? And here you can see some of the scenes. This is the uh, Merry-Go-Round Merry Museum itself, the building we are currently in. And over here, I guess these are all local scenes. See, that is uh, see Cedar Point there. So we enter the gift shop here. You can see little models there of carousel horses. Little snow globe. And this is really fun here. I sell these pins, and it actually has all the uh, different horses and animals from the carousel, so you can actually figure out which one you rode, and then you can get the corresponding pin, so you can take home the pin of the horse or animal that you rode. Now these are not Lincoln Logs here. These are Paul Bunyan Logs. I'm not sure why he's replaced Lincoln. Well, you see that uh, Paul there has a white beard, white hair, so that's a mature Paul Bunyan. So thank you for joining me here at the Merry-Go-Round Museum in Sandusky, Ohio. Now I mentioned in the intro, I was trying to figure out the difference between Merry-Go-Rounds and carousels, and I didn't really get an answer there. Um, I did notice that uh, actually once you get inside, they pretty much use the word carousel exclusively. I wonder if they call it the Merry-Go-Round Museum, maybe just to distinguish it from the Carousel Museum in uh, in uh, New York. But I, I kind of put it put it together, and my my thought, my, kind of what I've what I've gathered here, is I think, and I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think a carousel is anything that rotates. So a, a baggage carousel is a carousel. A carousel you ride on is a carousel. The Carousel of Progress at uh, Walt Disney World is a carousel. However, the ride that has animals on it that you go in circles, that's a merry-go-round. That's the more specific name. So all merry-go-rounds are carousels in that they rotate in a circle. So if you call the ride a carousel, you're correct. If you call it a merry-go-round, it's correct. Carousel, I think, is a more general term that is also acceptable to use for the ride in a circle with animals, but merry-go-round is a very more specific targeted term for the ride that has animals on it that goes in circles. If that makes any sense, let me know. But uh, absolutely loved the uh, Merry-Go-Round Museum here in Sandusky, Ohio. They have a wonderful carousel that you can ride, and it does go fast. I was really surprised by how speedy it went around uh, in, in a circle, but it was a lot of fun. They have the beautiful carvings. Definitely recommend uh, checking this out if you are in San the Sandusky area. Of course, we're in the same town 
as Cedar Point. So if you're really into amusement parks, really into classic amusements, I would say this is a must see if you're here in town. If you're here in town for Cedar Point, this is a, this is a definite uh, stop to put on your list. But thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, uh, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random stuff. If you'd like to help contribute to the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, doing personalized messages on Cameo, birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, just for fun, whatever you'd like. All that information is in the description of this video. And all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this carousel rotating in a joyous circle. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.